When you hear the word attraction, what do you think? Many people automatically assume it only means being romantically or sexually attracted to someone. But attraction can take many forms and you don't have to have feelings for someone to feel attracted towards them. Attraction is a key part of how you connect to other people. You can also feel multiple types of attraction at the same time. Sometimes you may be confused with your feelings. You may like someone because they're very smart, but you don't want a relationship with them. Or you want a relationship, but you don't feel the need to get intimate. Understanding that different types of attraction exist could help you sort out those confusing thoughts. So here are six different types of attraction you could experience. Number one, romantic attraction. This type of attraction is where you wanna be in a relationship with a person and you desire romantic contact with someone. You may wanna be with them even without the sexual aspect of the relationship. You can experience it as feeling romantically connected with the person. You feel close to them and you wanna spend time together as a couple to date them or even marry them someday. This is one of the most commonly known attraction types and many people feel like this at some point, but it is possible to never feel romantically attracted to others. It's called being aromantic, experiencing little to no romantic attraction or desire for a romantic relationship. If you're aromantic, you may not feel the need to date or have a serious relationship, but you can still satisfy your social needs through platonic relationships. Platonic means a relationship or friendship that can be intimate and loving, but doesn't involve physical, emotional, romantic, or sexual attraction. Number two, sexual attraction. Sexual attraction is also one of the most common. It makes people desire sexual contact or have sexual feelings towards someone. Often you feel this kind of attraction to your partner, but you don't have to be in a relationship to find someone sexually attractive. When you're sexually attracted to someone, you're experiencing feelings of passion, desire, or affection towards them. Some people experience greater levels of sexual attraction, but there are also ones who don't experience it at all. Similar to aromantic people, asexual people simply don't feel sexual attraction and don't feel sexual desire towards others. This is completely normal and they just may need to find compatible or accepting partners and their relationship can flourish through other types of attraction. Number three, physical attraction. Physical, sometimes called sensual attraction, is a desire to be around others, to be physically cared for, to be treated with love and affection, as well as a desire for touch. Of course, this type of attraction could go together with other types, but it doesn't have to. When you feel this attraction, you feel the desire to be touched or receive touch, but not necessarily in a sexual way. You don't have to be romantically attracted to someone to need some physical affection. You could seek hugs from your friends or a kiss on the cheek from your mom. Number four, aesthetic attraction. Have you ever thought someone is good looking without having any feelings for them? But as soon as you express your opinion about a person's good looks, people around you say, ooh, so you like them, huh? Well, here's the answer you should give. Aesthetic attraction is a thing, and it doesn't mean you're automatically in love with the person. Aesthetic attraction is defined as the ability to admire someone's appearance without the need or desire to have physical, sexual, or romantic contact with them. You look at them and you simply find them aesthetically pleasing, just like looking at a pretty painting or a lovely sunset. Some people are just easy on the eyes and you can't help but appreciate their looks. Number five, emotional attraction. To be emotionally attracted means wanting to be emotionally present with another person. This is another type of attraction that doesn't only apply to potential partners. Whether it's your partner, a friend, family member, you feel the need to connect with them on an emotional level and discuss your feelings, their feelings, and openly share your experiences and thoughts. You find this aspect to be the most important in a relationship, and you don't feel satisfied if you're not connected on that level. And number six, intellectual attraction. Intellectual attraction refers to the desire to interact with people on a more cerebral level. It's also called sapiosexuality, being attracted to highly intelligent people. What you're attracted to is their intellect. You like discussing different topics with them. You admire their way of thinking and you like being challenged by their points of view. You may also find intelligence to be the most important trait of your potential partner. Also, you enjoy intellectual activity, such as deep conversation, as an integral part of emotional bonding. If you feel intellectual attraction the most, you may find it difficult to feel sexually or romantically attracted to someone if they don't satisfy you intellectually. 
Did you recognize some of these attraction types with the relationships you have with other people? Do you feel like you lean to one type more than others? Or do you feel all of them depending on the circumstance? Let us know in the comments below, like and share this video with others who might wanna learn about this topic. And whichever way you feel attraction, or even if you don't feel it at all, understanding your feelings could help lead to quality relationships of any kind. There is no right or wrong when it comes to feeling connected to people and whatever you prefer is valid and awesome. As always, the references and studies used are listed in the description. Until next time, friends, and thanks for watching.